Evening time, and Buster's cousin Bandit is coming for a sleepover. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. First, it's time for a snack. I wonder what it will be. Oh, wow! Cookies! They look so tasty! Buster and Bandit love cookies. There, one each. <laughs> Yummy! Now Mommy's put them away. But Bandit knows where they are. Bandit and Buster have such a fun evening playing together. But then it's time for bed. They want to stay up longer. But Mommy says no. Hmm, I think Bandit has an idea. I wonder what he's whispering. Now, everyone's fast asleep. But what's this? Bandit's waking up. Buster too! They're sneaking back downstairs. Oh, Bandit is going to steal some more cookies. That's very naughty. Oops, that made a loud noise. Mommy's caught them. She's very disappointed in Buster and Bandit. The two little buses are very sorry. They'll go back to bed now as they're told. But the next morning, Buster and Bandit have surprised Mommy by making breakfast. They wanted to show how sorry they were. I wonder what Buster's going to learn at school today. Oh, a volcano! Wow! They're going to do an experiment. The teacher is showing them what to do. First, a drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Wow! It looks like an erupting volcano! Isn't that amazing? Everyone is so excited! They're going to do the experiment all by themselves! What a mess! It looks like Bandit didn't do it right! Oh no! Scouts didn't go right either! Maybe Buster? Buster has made just as much mess as the others. Why isn't it working? Can Ash get it right? Buster is going to check. Ash is still putting ingredients in. Whoa! It worked! Nice work, Ash! But how did Ash get it right when everyone else's went wrong? Oh, he followed the instructions on the board. What a good idea. The teacher is proud of Ash. Now the others are going to try again. But first, they check what they need to do. One drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Hooray! It's working! The volcanoes are all bubbling over. Don't they look great? Good job, everyone! It's amazing what you can do when you follow the instructions. The teacher is so proud of everyone. It's another exciting day at school for Buster and his friends. Today, they are making Mother's Day cards. Look, teacher is showing them how to do it. Fold it in half and make a crease. Well done, Buster. But what is Bandit up to? Wow, look at all those decorations. Let's craft. Oh, Bandit, he's turned his card into a paper airplane and it's gone flying. Buster is starting with some glue. Oops, the glue is stuck to his wheel. And now there's glitter everywhere. 
Oh dear, Buster. The glue just won't budge. Hmm, what can Buster use to remove the glue? Aha, a spoon. Nope, that didn't work. Uh-oh, and now the spoon is stuck to his other wheel. Buster asks Scout for some help. Scout tries to pull off the glue bottle. Nope, that didn't work either. <gasps> oh no, now Scout is stuck as well. Watch out, Scout. Oh dear, this isn't going to plan. Bandit is finding all of this very funny. And the poor teacher is too distracted by Bandit's plane, he can't see what's going on. Oops, they've knocked over Ash's water. But hang on, the water has loosened the spoon. Buster has an idea. Ash is using his hose to unstick the glue. Hooray, it worked. Oh dear, what a mess. Mommy Bus is here to take Buster home. And look, Buster is giving her the special Mother's Day card. She loves it. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy Bus. Uh-oh, not again. It's a sunny day at Buster's house. Oh look, Mommy Bus is helping a kitten with a sore leg. There, all fixed and bandaged up. Scout is here to drive to school with Buster. They are playing in the playground. Oh dear, Scout hurt her tire. Buster's got an idea. What is he up to? He's bandaged up Scout's tire with toilet roll. All fixed. Great work, Buster. Looks like Ash wants to be bandaged up as well. And now Scout wants her other tires bandaged up. But Buster is all out of toilet roll. Bandit has a cheeky idea. They're all taking the toilet roll. They're getting the toilet roll everywhere. This looks very messy. They're getting a bit carried away. Oh dear, they've covered the playground in toilet roll. Teacher doesn't seem very pleased. <laughs> Mommy Bus is here to take Buster home. She wonders what has upset the teacher. Buster explains he was trying to help Scout like Mommy helped the kitten. Mommy will be able to bandage it properly. Time to get properly fixed up. It's sports day at Buster's school. How exciting. First is the 100 meter sprint. On your marks, get set, go. Go Buster. He's the winner. Hooray. That was easy. Buster is the fastest in school. Next up, it's the high jump. Scouts up first. Scoot, scoot. Wow, that was awesome! Buster thinks he can beat that jump. Off he goes. Oops! Don't worry, Buster. He doesn't look very happy. It's the egg and spoon race next. Get ready and go! Buster really wants to win. Whoops! Buster was going too fast and smashed the egg. Oh dear. And Ash is the winner. Well done, Ash. Buster is annoyed about losing. He really wanted to win. He's so upset that he isn't playing ball with the others. That does look fun, Buster. Mm. 
It's not just about winning, Buster. It's about having fun! Hooray! Now they're all having fun together. It's time to present the medals. Buster is third, Ash is second, and Scout is first! Well done, everyone! What a brilliant day! The end of school. And it's time for Scout to return the school flower that she'd been taking care of. Now whose turn is it to take it home and care for it? Hooray! It's Buster's turn! Buster is going really slowly. He wants to make sure he takes good care of the flower. It's time to say goodbye to Scout and Ash. Whoa! Careful, Buster! That was a close one! Buster is so happy to be caring for the flower that he's drawn a picture of it. He's even brought it to dinner! <laughs> I don't think it eats carrots, Buster. It needs water instead to make sure it grows strong. But now it's time for bed. Good night, flower. The next morning, Buster is super excited for school. Careful, Buster. You don't want to knock the flower. Oh, no! The flower has smashed. What is Buster doing? He's hiding it because he's afraid he'll get in trouble. Hmm. Buster is pretending to be ill. But he doesn't have a temperature. Oh, now Mommy understands. Buster doesn't want to go to school with the smashed flower. He thinks he's let everyone down. But Mommy knows what to do. They'll put the flower in a brand new pot. It looks even better than before. There, good as new. Buster returns the flower to class. Everyone is really impressed with its lovely new pot. Good job, Buster. Now it's Ash's turn to take care of it. Hooray! It's a windy day at the park. Buster and Daddy Bus are here for a fun day out. Daddy Bus has a surprise for Buster. What could it be? Oh, look! It's a kite! Buster gets ready to fly it. Daddy Bus pushes it up into the air. Wow! It's flying so high! Well done, Buster! Look, it's Monty, the hot air balloon. Oh no, a big gust of wind has blown the kite away. It's caught on Monty and he hasn't noticed. Don't worry, Buster, Daddy has a plan. Oops, watch out, Daddy Bus. Whoa, great header. Go, Buster. Bandit and Ash look very confused. Where are they going? Buster is trying to get Monty's attention. But he's not looking where he's going. Watch out! Oh no! Buster has driven straight into a muddy puddle. He's stuck in the mud. Daddy heaves him out. Great teamwork, guys. Uh-oh, a tree has fallen across the road. But that won't stop them. Daddy Bus flies right over the log. And Buster slides straight underneath. Wow, that was awesome! Oh. Quick, there's Monty! <laughs> Looks like Daddy Bus has an idea. There's a huge pile of mud and they're splashing through it. What are they doing? Oh. They've drawn a picture of their kite in the mud and Monty has finally noticed a kite oh. wrapped around him. Oops! <laughs> Buster gets his kite back. Ah. Thank you, Monty. Hold tight, Buster. Phew, that was a close <laughs> one. It's a sunny day, and Daddy Bus is taking Buster on a trip to the beach. Buster says goodbye to Mommy Bus, and off they go. Hooray! But, oh dear. Otis is blocking their path. The road is closed. Buster is very upset. But looks like Daddy has an idea. It's a lovely lake. And they can go fishing instead. Buster is disappointed, though, as he wanted to go to the beach. 
Daddy teaches him how to fish. Wow, now it's Buster's turn. Buster is bored. This isn't as fun as the beach. Why is Daddy so excited? Hang on, something is tugging on Daddy's line. What could it be? Whoa, Daddy has caught a huge fish. It's so big, Daddy isn't strong enough. Buster joins in and helps. Watch out, Buster. Oops, they've been pulled into the water. And the fish is finding this very funny. Buster and Daddy Bus won't give up that easily. Looks like they've got a new plan. The fish is swimming in the lake. Daddy casts his fishing line. And the fish pulls once again. It's another tug of war. Look, there's Buster floating in the lake. Aha, gotcha! Buster caught the fish with his net! <laughs> Go, Buster! Daddy is very proud. Well done, Buster! The fish swims away. See you next time, fishy! Fishing was lots of fun after all! Buster and his friends are having a great time camping in the woods with Daddy Bus. Daddy is making some spooky shadows as he tells them a ghost story. Whoa, that monster is super scary. Phew, don't worry, gang. It's only Daddy Bus. Looks like it's time for bed. Good night, everyone. Daddy Bus is off to collect some more firewood for the fire. Good night, Buster. Hang on. What is Buster up to? He's turning the firewood into scary antlers. Scout is fast asleep. Yikes! What is that? <gasps> it's Buster's scary shadow. Poor Scout. Don't worry, Scout. It was only Buster. Now it's Bandit's turn to be pranked. Aha! The spooky shadow scared him as well. Looks like Buster is getting sleepy. But Bandit and Scout have a plan. Buster is sleeping peacefully. But there's a scary monster! And another one! Go, Buster, go! That served Buster right. Great job, gang. What is that? Oh, no! It's a real spooky monster! Phew! It was just Daddy Bus carrying back more firewood. That's enough scaring for one evening. All that joking around has made them very tired. Buster is having fun splashing in some very muddy puddles outside his house. Look! It's Grandpa Bus! Oops, now they're both covered in mud. But Grandpa has a plan. Where's he taking Buster? They're at the car wash to get cleaned up. Hooray! It looks like the car wash is all out of bubbles. Aha, there's the soap. Grandpa adds a small squirt. And Buster turns on the car wash. Go, Buster, go! Hang on. That's a lot of soap, Grandpa Bus. <laughs> Buster is covered in soapy bubbles. How funny. That was a very good joke, Grandpa. Now it's Grandpa's turn to get cleaned up. Looks like Buster's got a plan. He's getting his own back. Grandpa is covered in soap. He looks very silly. Look, Terry the tractor is here for a wash. 
Hmm. Whoa, go easy, Buster! The bubbles are overflowing! Oh dear, what a soapy mess! Otis doesn't look very happy. Time to clear up the mess. What a silly day! Buster and Scout are on their way home from school. Bye, Scout! What's Buster spotted? Oh, look! It's Diggly and Daisy! Buster wants to help. But safety first! Look at that awesome builder's hat! Buster is helping them move a crate off Rocky the Riverboat. Great teamwork, guys! Now they're placing the crate on the construction site. Mr. Rubble is off to get some lunch. See you later, Mr. Rubble! Oh, no! The crate is sinking into the mud! Go, Buster, go! Oh, no! Now Buster is stuck in the mud as well! Daisy to the rescue! <laughs> nope, that didn't work! What's that? Diggly is hooked up to that crane! And he's pulling Buster out! It's working! Just a little bit more… Oops! Now they're all stuck! And Mr. Rubble hasn't noticed! But Buster's got a plan! He's wrapping the wire around the crane and attaching it to the crate! So they can pull themselves out! Brilliant idea, Buster! Diggly and Daisy are both pulling the rope at different times! But they need to work together! And that's it! Hooray! It worked! Mr. Rubble still hasn't noticed them! So they quickly pull the crate out! Everything is back to normal! Well, not quite back to normal! They're all covered in mud! It's time to get cleaned up! Mr. Rubble is spraying them with the hose! There! That's much better! Now it's time for a spot of lunch! Yum, yum! But what's that? Mr. Rubble has driven straight into the mud! Don't worry, Mr. Rubble! They know just what to do! and Ash are on holiday at the beach! Mommy Bus and Mommy Fire Truck are preparing a barbecue! And Buster and Ash are building an amazing sand castle! Whoa! Those waves are really coming in! Quick! The sand castle could be ruined! Ash to the rescue! He's protecting the castle with a wall of sand! Great idea, Ash! Oh, look! It's Iggy, the ice cream truck! Hooray! Oh, no! Ash's wall couldn't stop the waves! They've ruined their sand castle! Buster is very sad! But Ash has got a plan to save it! Buster is too upset to help! Maybe an ice cream will cheer him up! I wonder what flavors he'll choose! Wow! That's a huge ice cream! Whoa! Steady! Ash is still fixing the sand castle! Buster could get Ash an ice cream too! But he's upset with Ash because his wall didn't protect the sand castle! Buster's only getting ice cream for himself! 
Whoa! Ash has rebuilt the sand castle. Good as new! Buster now feels bad he didn't get Ash an ice cream. So he's giving Ash his. Be careful, don't drop it. Iggy gives them another cone. Now they can share the ice cream. Yum, yum, delicious. Buster and Daddy Bus are having a day out at the park. Uh-oh, careful, Daddy. They're going to play some soccer together. It's time for kickoff. Buster passes the ball and… Uh-oh, looks like Daddy hasn't quite got the hang of this. But Buster shows him how it's done. Time for a penalty shootout. Buster shoots and he scores! Oh no! Daddy Bus, are you alright? Phew, he's okay. Now it's Buster's turn to be in goal. Daddy looks determined. Whoops, the ball's gone flying up in the air. Oh look, it's Ash and Mommy Fire Truck. Buster is inviting them to join the game. Great idea, Buster. It's buses versus fire trucks. Let's go! Buster takes the ball. Ash dives in front. Mommy shoots for goal and she misses. Oops. I think Buster has another idea. I wonder what it is. Ash and Buster are teaming up. It's now kids versus parents. Who's going to win? Ash starts. Daddy takes the ball, but Ash tackles him. He passes to Buster. And Buster scores! Go, Buster! What great teamwork, everyone! They are both very tired as Daddy drives Buster home after a great day out. Oh, look, it's Mommy Bus! Buster waves goodbye to Daddy Bus. But wait, Buster is giving Daddy Bus the soccer ball. <laughs> he does need the practice. Buster is so excited to go play with his best friend Scout. What'll they play today? Ooh, Grandpa has a remote controlled car. Buster is going to control it first. Vroom, vroom! Look at it go! <laughs> now Scout wants to go. But Buster wants to keep driving. Uh-oh, Scout doesn't think that's fair. She wants a turn. Oh dear. Now they're fighting over the remote. They both want to control the toy car. Oh no! The car crashed and broke. Now nobody can play with it. Buster and Scout are upset with each other. They're not playing anymore. It's so sad when friends argue. But wait, I think Grandpa has an idea. He's giving the remote to Scout and the toy car to Buster. They'll need to work together to fix it. Aw, oh, now they've made up. Friends always forgive each other. There! Now they can both control the car. Buster and Grandpa are going shopping at the supermarket. Here's the shopping list. Carrots, sweet corn, and a new soccer ball. Buster can't wait to get the new soccer ball. But Grandpa reminds him they need to get everything else on the list first. <laughs> Starting with the carrots. Buster races off. But is that right? Grandpa's moving so slowly. Buster has gotten a banana, not a carrot. 
He was rushing so quickly, he wasn't paying attention. There they are. <laughs> nice work, Buster. Next, sweet corn. He's found them. Whoops. Careful, Buster. All the tins might fall over. Phew. Great save, Grandpa. <laughs> Next. Yay! The soccer ball! Buster is zooming ahead to find the soccer ball. But wait! Grandpa's been left behind. He can't find him. Oh no! Buster and Grandpa can't see each other. Buster is searching and searching, but it's no good. Poor Buster is lost and getting worried. <laughs> Look, it's Ash and his mommy. Someone Buster knows. Thank goodness he's found them. They can help him get back to Grandpa. <laughs> At last! Buster is back safely with Grandpa. He knows he shouldn't have run so far ahead. He's sorry, but Grandpa forgives him. And here's the new soccer ball. Hooray! Buster looks so excited. I wonder why. A storybook. Buster wants Mommy to read to him. Buster loves a good fairy tale. Mommy's reading Buster the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. When the bears had gone out, Goldilocks came to the window. She tried their porridge, but the first bowl was too hot. Buster thinks that's very funny. But look at the time. Mommy can't read all day. Buster's upset. He wants to know what happens next in the story. But Mommy knows what to do. Maybe Grandpa can read to Buster? Grandpa is out watering the plants, but Buster wants him to read more of the storybook. Yes, Grandpa can read to him for a bit. He loves stories of great adventures and brave heroes. What's happening now? Goldilocks sits on a chair that's too small, and it breaks. How funny. Buster loves this story. But what's this? Mommy says it's time for dinner. The rest of the story will have to wait. Buster has some Whoa. nice fish fingers and vegetables for dinner, but he's eating them all really fast. He wants to get back to the story as soon as possible. Hmm, Mommy and Grandpa are still eating. They can't read to him right now. Buster really wants to know what happens next. Look, he's trying to read it himself. He's not very good at reading, but he's trying really hard. Wow, he's getting it. Mommy and Grandpa are so proud of him. Good job, Buster. But, oh dear, he's getting sleepy too. Mommy's reading the book to Buster as a bedtime story. Now Goldilocks is asleep in the bear's bed. Oh, look, Buster has fallen asleep. Aw, he'd had such a busy day, he couldn't stay awake for the end. Good night, Buster. It's time for Buster to go to school. He mustn't forget his packed lunch. They're Scout. They don't want to be late. But who's this? A little fire truck? Buster is waving hello. At school, the teacher has a surprise. This is Ash. He's the new kid in school. He's going to be joining their class. Ash is going to Buster because he waved hello. He's so excited to have made a new friend already. Now today, the children are going to learn about parking. The teacher is showing them how to do it properly. Now it's their turn to try. Scout's got it. And Buster. Oh. Ash is sticking really close to his new friend. He's following Buster wherever he goes. He doesn't understand Buster is trying to park. Oh dear, I think he's got on Buster's nerves a bit. Buster wanted some space, but Ash didn't understand. At break time, Buster and Scout are playing. Aw, poor Ash has no friends to play with. Hmm? 
But Buster and Scout have an idea. <laughs> Ash can play with them. They're friends now after all. Now they're all playing together. Whoa, good shot, Ash. It's so nice to make new friends. Daddy Bus and Buster are driving across the hills. Oh, look. It's a baby deer. What's it running from? Huh? It's Traxon in the train. Oh, no. What's wrong? Traxon can't stop. Quick! Buster and Daddy Bus to the rescue. Oh, no. He's speeding up. Daddy Bus is calling Otis the police car. This is an emergency. Ah! There's a branch on the tracks. Daddy Bus swoops in and moves it. Hooray! Well done, Daddy Bus. Looks like the tracks change directions up ahead. Daddy Bus and Buster are pulling the levers to change the direction of the tracks. But, oh no! Terry is crossing the tracks! Change them, quick! That was close! Now Traxon is going round and round. He's getting dizzy! Oh no! Watch out! Phew! Daddy was just in time! Looks like Buster has a plan! They need to direct Traxon towards the hill! The hill is slowing him down! He stopped! Hooray! Go, Buster! <laughs> Otis has arrived on the scene. This doesn't look like an emergency. Oops. It's a sunny day at Buster's house. And Buster and Grandpa are having a great time playing together. Mommy Bus is off to work. Will Buster and Grandpa be able to make dinner together? Whoa! Some real cooking! Buster is very excited. Let's cook! Grandpa sets up the stove. Hmm, but what comes next? Buster has an idea. It's chocolate sauce. Hmm, Grandpa doesn't think that's quite right for dinner. Let's take a look at the recipe. They've gathered all the ingredients together. Buster starts by adding some flour to the bowl. Whoa, easy there, Buster. Oops, the flour has gone everywhere. Now Grandpa and Buster are covered in flour. Buster is adding the finishing touches to the mixture. Careful the mixture doesn't go everywhere. Great job, Buster. Oops, Grandpa's tomato sauce has splattered all over the floor. And what's going on at the stove? The pot is bubbling over. Oh, look! It steamed up his glasses, and now he can't see where he's going! Watch out, Grandpa! Oh, dear! This isn't going very well! Grandpa and Buster are clearing up the mess. But Mommy Bus is coming home from work. Uh-oh! They still haven't made dinner! What are they going to do? Grandpa gets some fish fingers out of the freezer. Aha! This gives Buster an idea. Time for chocolate sauce. Mommy Bus is wondering what Buster and Grandpa have made for dinner, just as they're finishing up. I wonder what they've cooked. It's fish fingers and green beans. And chocolate sauce. Are you sure about this, Buster? He gives it a try. Hmm, delicious. Mommy also gives it a try. And it's surprisingly tasty. Well done, Buster. Daddy Bus is taking Buster, Bandit, and Scout on a camping trip in the woods. It's time to set up the campsite. First, they've got to put up their tents. 
Daddy is showing them how. He's hammering in the pegs to stop the tent from blowing away. Look, they are keeping the tent in place. Aha! All done! Whilst Daddy Bus collects wood for the fire, Buster and his friends are finishing their tents. <gasps> what was that? Mm -hmm. Bandit has some marshmallows. Mm -hmm. Yummy! <gasps> oh no! Buster didn't hammer the pegs in properly. The tent has come loose. He can't see a thing. Watch out, Scout! Uh-oh, it's blowing away! Will Buster be able to catch it? Scout and Bandit join in to help. Go, Buster, you can do it! Aha, it's finally fallen to the ground. Oh dear, not again! Daddy Bus, look out! Oops, the firewood has gone flying! Oh. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> He's okay. <laughs> time to finally put the tent up. Let's make sure all the pegs are in this time, Buster. <laughs> Great job! I wonder what Daddy Bus has planned next. Wow! <laughs> They're roasting marshmallows. Mmm, <laughs> delicious! <laughs> What a brilliant day! Ash is coming round to play at Buster's house. They're really excited to play some board games. Today's game is Snakes and Ladders. How exciting! And Ash gets to go first. Five and two, that's seven. So Ash moves his counter seven spaces. Now it's Buster's turn. Eight! Along the counter goes. Now it's Ash's turn again. Oh, wow. He's rolled very well. He's going up a ladder. Now Buster. Five. Oh, dear. Down the snake he goes. Buster's not doing well. Oops. He knocked over his counter. What's that? Here comes Grandpa with lots of other toys to play with. But he's dropped them all. Ash is helping to pick them all up. But no one is watching Buster. <gasps> oh no! He moved his counter up. But that's cheating. Oh no! He's moved it to the finish line like he's won the game. Now Ash is back. Looks like the game is over. Buster won. Ash doesn't understand how that happened, but he's happy for his friend. Ah. That's odd. Buster should feel happy he won, but he doesn't feel right. Not right at all. Buster cheated. He didn't win fair and square, so it feels all wrong. But Grandpa knows it's not all about winning. It's playing the game that's the fun part. And now it's Ash's turn. Ash rolls. Whoa, he almost went down the snake. Buster goes down another snake and... <laughs> there, Ash won fair and square. But Buster is happy for his friend. They had so much fun playing together. He's having so much fun playing on his drum kit. Oops, there goes a drumstick. It's rolling over to Mommy. Hmm, what's Mommy doing? Oh, she's clearing out all Buster's old toys. The ones he doesn't use anymore. I wonder what's inside. Look, Buster's baby drum. He remembers that. Mommy is going to recycle it so someone else can enjoy it. Buster is sad. But he has a bigger, better drum kit now. But Buster wants to keep his little drum. He doesn't like to let go. Here's Scout with her tambourine. She's come round to play. Hooray! Time to make some music. Buster and Scout are ready to play. And here's Ash, too. He's come to listen. Now Buster and Scout have an audience. They're ready to rock. One, two, three, four. Nice! Buster and Scout are really grooving! Nice work, guys! Scout shakes the tambourine. Buster bangs the drum. Oh, he's trying to play his little drum at the same time. That doesn't work so well. He's trying to do too much at once. Oops! Aw, Ash wants to join in. But he doesn't have an instrument. And Buster has one too many. What's he going to do? 
<laughs> Buster is giving his little drum to Ash to play. Now Ash can play along, and all three of them can have fun. Ready? One, two, three, four! There! That sounds even better than before! At the end of the day, Ash is going to give the drum back. But Buster knows he doesn't need two drums. He wants Ash to keep it. Ash is so happy! What a kind thing Buster did! Buster, Mommy Bus, and Ash are at the Soft Play Center. How exciting! Looks like Buster wants to play in the big kids section, but he's not quite big enough yet. Wow, this is amazing! Ash is very excited, but Buster thinks he's too old for soft play. They're having so much fun! Look at them go! But Buster doesn't want to join. Now they're bouncing on the trampoline! Whee! That does look like lots of fun, Buster! Nope, he's still not going to play. What is Ash running from? Oh look, it's Captain Mommy! Arg! Quick, run away, Ash! He's escaped to the ball pit. That looks like so much fun! Now Buster wants to join in. Quick, the captain is going to catch you! Go, Buster! Buster is really getting into this now. Ahoy, me hearties! What was that? <laughs> gotcha! It's Pirate Buster and Pirate Ash to the rescue! Run away! <laughs> Look at them go! Watch out, Captain Mommy! Pirate Buster and Pirate Ash have saved the day! See, Buster? The soft play center was lots of fun after all! It's a bright, sunny day, and Buster wants to play outside! But what's this? Huh? He's left his toys all over the floor. Oh. Buster knows he should clean them up, but he really wants to go and play. <laughs> Whoa! Buster's cleaning up all the toys super fast. But not very well. Oh, <laughs> oh dear! He's knocked that glass over. And now his mopping up has left water everywhere. Soon, Buster is outside playing. What was that? Mommy slipped on all the water. Oh dear, the room is still such a mess. Buster feels really bad for not cleaning up well. But he can make it all better. He just has to clean up properly. And take his time to do it right. Mommy and Buster can do it together. Like it's a game. <laughs> Chores are so much easier to do when you find the fun in them. And they're so much faster if you work together. There, Buster is even cleaning up that drink he spilled. <gasps> Perfect! The room is all tidy at last. Now Buster and Mommy can go and play ball together. Hooray! Buster and his friends are on a holiday at the beach. What a fun day out! Wow, the sea looks amazing! What is that in the water? Ah, it's a shark! Buster is very scared! 
Oops. Oops. Watch out, Iggy. <laughs> Mommy Bus is taking a nap on the beach. Huh? Buster is trying to tell her what he saw. It had scary fins and jumped out of the water. It was a shark. <gasps> hmm. hmm. Mommy Bus can't see anything. Huh? Oh. Don't worry, Buster. Mm -hmm. Everything is fine. And Mommy Bus is going back to her nap. <gasps> Buster is still very scared. I wonder if the shark is still there. Ah! It's a shark! Go, Buster, go! Oops, not again! Buster is still frightened, but he wants to get over his fear. He's going back again. There's the shark. Wait a second, what's wrong? The shark has a sore, wobbly tooth. That's why it was jumping out of the water. Don't worry, shark. Buster can help. He's trying to get Mommy's attention. She's awake. She's got her red kit and Mommy Bus to the rescue. Splat! <laughs> yum, yum! Mommy Bus is removing the shark's wobbly tooth. It's out! Hooray! The shark feels so much better now. Well done, Buster! He can't wait to show the tooth to his friend. Sunny day in the school playground. And Buster and Scout are drawing together. Uh oh. Looks like they both want the blue crayon. Buster snatches it. And now Scout is trying to snatch it back. It's given Buster and Bandit a great idea for a game they can all play together. Using their imaginations. It's cops and robbers. Buster and Bandit are the robbers. And Ash and Scout are the cops trying to catch them. Off they go. The chase is on. Buster and Bandit are splitting up. Oh no! Bandit is cornered. Aha! He's got a plan. Where has he gone? Hang on a second. That fox is moving. Quick, Ash, you can catch him. He's jumping off that ramp. Go, Buster! I wonder if Buster and Bandit are going to escape. They're all getting very close. Whoa, watch out! Buster and Bandit have driven straight into jail. Hooray for the cops, Scout, and Ash. Time to give up the crayon, Buster. <laughs> that was fantastic. What a brilliant game. Now Scout can finally finish off her drawing. Buster and Bandit are free to go. What a fantastic playtime, everyone. Buster, Scout, Bandit, and Ash are having a race. Buster and Bandit are neck and neck. But Scout dashed into the lead. Whoosh! Scout won! Nice work, Scout. She really is super speedy. What's that noise? Thunder? Oh no, it's a storm! They should take cover or they'll get all wet. Whoa, that was close! Ash nearly skidded into his friends on the wet grass. Wait a minute, that gives Buster an idea. Whoosh! Skidding through those muddy puddles is great fun! They could play a game, see who can skid the furthest. What a great idea! Bandit is going first. Swish! He skidded all the way over there! But Scout thinks she can do better. Vroom! Whoa! Scout went even further than Bandit! Now it's Ash's turn. 
He's so little, he's spinning round and round. He's all dizzy, but he's gone the furthest yet. Last up, it's Buster. Whoosh! Uh-oh, he's getting out of control. Whoa! Oops, Buster splashed Mommy with mud. Looks like it's time for all the little vehicles to get back home. They're back at Buster's house in no time. But wait, they can't go inside until they're all cleaned up. Mommy's going to use the hose to wash all the mud off. Splish splash. And there, now all four of them are clean again. But even so, that skidding race was so much fun. Buster and his friends look so excited. What's going on? Oh, wow! Mommy has set up an Easter egg hunt for them. What's that? I think Scout is really excited about having some yummy chocolate. Ready and go! Everyone's going to look for the Easter eggs. Oops! Try not to bump into each other. Nice! Ash found an egg in that tree. He's rushing back and putting it in the basket so they can all share it later. Good job, Ash! Ooh, I think Buster has seen an egg, too. Wait, this is just the wrapping paper. Where's the chocolate egg gone? Buster's disappointed. But look, there's another egg by the bush. Hmm, this one's just wrapping, too. Someone has taken the chocolate. Very strange. Oh, dear. Ash is worried. They haven't found enough eggs to share around. But it's okay. They'll just have to keep looking. What's this? Another empty bit of wrapping. There's Bandit. He's sneaky. Maybe he's been stealing all the chocolate? He's got some eggs. But look! He's putting them in the basket. It's not Bandit who's stealing them. Look, there goes Scout. She'll know what to do. But wait. Is that chocolate around Scout's mouth? She's the one stealing all the eggs. Look, Scout hid all the eggs she found behind that bush. She loves chocolate so much, she wanted them all to herself. But she's very sorry. She knows sharing is the right thing to do. Buster forgives her, but they'd better clean that chocolate off her face. There, Mommy can share them out equally. Ash, Bandit, Buster, Scout. Everyone gets some yummy Easter eggs. Look at those paint brushes. Buster and his friends are painting the walls in Buster's room today. How exciting! Mommy Bus is bringing them lots of different colored paints. They can paint the wall underneath the window. Hmm, what color should Buster choose? Scout has chosen purple. And Ash has picked red. And Buster? Yellow, of course! Let's paint! Oops! Ash adds a red splat to match Scout's. And Buster adds a yellow splat. Awesome! I wonder what Scout is painting first. It's a rocket! Awesome! Cool! Buster's go next. What's he going to paint? <gasps> a bumblebee! Not on the cabinet, Ash! <gasps> now they're having a paint fight. Be careful! That paint is very messy! Oh dear, they're getting paint everywhere! What a mess! Uh-oh, the yellow paint is all over the floor! <gasps> and now the purple! Yikes! Mommy Bus is wondering what all that noise is. That was so much fun! Uh-oh, they didn't realize they were making such a mess! But Buster has a plan. They can use Ash's hose to clear it up. The water is washing away the paint. Great job, Ash! Oh, 
Oh no, Mommy Bus is coming and they haven't finished clearing up the mess yet. Time to get all cleaned up. Ash is hosing Buster down. Splash! Now it's Scout's turn. And that looks like so much fun. And finally, Ash. Well done, everyone. Wow, the room looks completely clean. Time for Ash and Scout to head off home. Oops. Well, not completely. Buster and his friends are at school. And today, they have a very special visitor. It's Mommy Fire Truck. Hooray! She's here to show them what a fire truck does. When a building is on fire, you have to call a firefighter as quick as you can. What happens next? A hose is attached to a water hydrant and the water puts out the fire! Yippee! It's time to practice. They have to knock the cones over with a jet of water. Ash is first. Yay! Well done, Ash! And Scout? Oops! That's better. Well done! <laughs> now it's Buster's turn. <laughs> wow! Watch out, Buster! <laughs> that was a great day. But now Mommy Fire Truck needs to get to work. <laughs> Goodbye, Mommy Fire Truck. Thank you! Now it's the end of the day, and Buster is heading home. Bye, Scout. Bye, Ash. <laughs> <gasps> what is that? It's smoke. Where could it be coming from? <gasps> oh no, it's a fire! What should Buster do? He needs a firefighter. Buster is getting Mommy Fire Truck to help. <gasps> Teacher will take care of Ash. Go, Mommy, go! There's the fire. Aha! And there's a water hydrant. Next step, attach the hose. Oh no! Quick! Phew! The fire is out. Yippee! What great teamwork! <laughs> it's the next day at school. Teacher is calling Buster up to the front. What could it be for? Look! Mommy Fire Truck! She's here to thank Buster for all his help and award him with a special fire truck hat. Go, Buster! <laughs>